What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Up Chuck Gaming back at it again from We Game here. Thank you for coming back as always. Let's get into it. PSX uh, was an amazing experience. Um, I didn't have no expectations going, um, you know, because me, uh, you know, when you go somewhere for the first time, you don't want to get too up. Or you don't want to get like ah whatever, so I just kept it neutral. You know, I was more excited about you know catching up with people that you do it on the internet, like Kev and you know and, uh, Courtney and Adrian and my boy Demi got reviews. It was just dope to see those guys there. You know, just chop it up, laugh. Timbo, Michi, CC, uh, Alex. Um, shout out to my boy Austin for holding that spot in line. Clutch, clutch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, nah, man, it was it was just fun. We was just cracking jokes for like two hours until they opened the door. But uh, once we got inside, uh, you know, things got real. Now, a lot of people couldn't make it into the keynote because the space wasn't big enough, and there was a lot of people there. So, but we was able to get good seats, and I was blown away. Uh, first and foremost. I've always said PlayStation exclusives are overrated. I think people give these exclusives a little bit more credit than what they deserve. From the order to Infamous to Killzone to um, The Last of Us Remastered, Uncharted 4, blah, blah. I mean, they have a lot of games. I'm not saying they don't, but up until this point, I haven't really been impressed with a lot of them, man. Uh, the only ones I really feel, all right, you know, Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, you know, stuff like that, you know, I don't know. But anyway, so they're going through all the games and Marvel is coming out. Of course, that's not going to be exclusive. Uh, hype is a moment for me, easy. Uh, I was also more of a Marvel 2 player than a Marvel 3 player, so, but this for it to come back and knowing that the rumors are true it was hype man me and my boy Xavier oh yeah shout out to my boy Xavier that boy crazy <laughs> that boy is crazy <laughs> no it was cool seeing him too man we chopped it up a lot man uh even got on some street fighter uh but anyway so yeah they uh they showed that they showed Akuma and street fighter which was fire um and they just have a lot of games coming that I'm actually interested in and that's not normal like I said before it's not normal with PlayStation games you know yeah they had like the little weeboo stuff there you know like trash Persona 5 <laughs> I'm, I'm probably gonna get killed for that but whatever you know they had a lot of that stuff there too but I think Nier looks dope uh, Gravity Rush 2 looks dope and I'm not even talking about what I played yet I'm just talking about what was in the conference um you know and the, the Lost Odyssey or Legacy, I guess, uh, the Uncharted standalone story DLC looks fire. You know what I'm saying? And so they have a lot of stuff just coming, man. Um, like the first half of the year is pretty packed for PlayStation. And I think the conference went well. Yeah, it got a little dull towards the end. Um, you know, you know, I but it happens. You know, it's, it's hard to sustain that type of hype. You know for like an hour or so you know it's hard to do that but I think they started off real strong you know and then by the end it started to fade away a little bit but I mean oh yeah they also show like Crash Bandicoot which looks really good and forty dollars for three games definitely gonna cop that when it comes out whenever it comes out but um yeah so I think the conference was really good you know, everybody had fun with that, man. But the real meat of this was the show floor. And I played so many games. It's crazy. I played so many games, dude. I'm going to tell you guys right now. And I, I posted this in a couple of groups. But Horizon is the best looking game I have ever seen in my life. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm not talking. I'm talking about. PS4 Pro with the HDR and the 4K TV blew me away and I'm sitting there like because what we played on was we was playing with regular PS4s I could tell um, by how it looked on the TV but that HDR is real man 
I'm about to scoop me up a TV, bro. That it, it's real. <laughs> it's real. But yeah, Horizon looked amazing. I love the gameplay, and it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a very needy game. I don't think you know it's gonna be that linear. You know, it had the open world feel. It kind of reminded me of Tomb Raider a little bit, but just more open. Um, so we're gonna have to wait for that. Um, I played Gravity Rush two. I, I game that game looked crazy and it played crazy too. So, man, I, I'm excited for that. That's definitely gonna be a day one buy. A game I slept on was Drawn to Death. That game is stupid fun. Uh, made by David Jaffe, uh, you know, and it's just pure fun. It's intense as hell, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I was feeling that game. Um, I play Ace Combat VR. Stupid, crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, they had a lot of games where, you know, you could get, like, a taste of, a taste of, you know, of the game and see if he was interested or not. Um, I'm trying to see what else I played. Uh, <laughs> like, I played so many games, it's kind of hard. I did get on For Honor again. I played um, Sonic Mania. I played Crash Bandicoot. I played... Um, let me see. Uh, damn, 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 damn. Oh yeah, Street Fighter V, of course, uh, with all the new buffs and nerfs. And I played with Akuma a little bit, and Akuma is really, really, really good. So look out for him on December twentieth, in the in the whole season two thing. That's funny how you know Street Fighter has seasons now. You know that was like a KI thing, but you know we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, Street Fighter was pretty dope. I had a lot of good matches, and I met a lot of fighters like Ricky Ortiz, K. Brad, Champ was there, Gutex was there. You know it was just fun, man. Uh, LPN was there, destroying dudes with Akuma already. God damn, he was killing people already with Akuma, man. I just can't. I want to see when dudes really get in the lab with him to see how it's gonna go. Um. Uh, one, two things I want to touch on before I get out of here. PS4 Pro. Um, I did say earlier, like, Horizon is going to be amazing. But to me, as of right now, it's a waste of money. There's no really, there's no difference in the games. And I'm looking and playing them. Like, I'm not watching no video. I'm legit right in front of the screen with the 55-inch. Everything how they want it. And to me... It, 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 I didn't really see that much of a difference. Now, excuse me, I'm pretty sure there's other games where, you know, it, it's better or not, but the games they had up there, Watch Dogs, 2K, uh, COD and all that, it wasn't really all that, man. Yeah, it's kind of, you probably going to have to wait till next year when the games are actually made for the system. And the last thing I want to touch on is VR. I had I played some VR games, uh, Battle Sport or Blood Sport Arena, um, a couple like other little indie games or whatever, and I played uh, Frontier. VR is cool, but I can't see myself spending four hundred dollars on that. To me, it, it's not worth it. Um, it's just not enough to like have me play that for hours. You know, I know Riggs is a good game or whatever, but. Just for me personally, I don't really, I'm not really feeling VR like that. But anyway, man, that's the end of my experience, man. I had a blast once again. It's your boy Upchuck Gaming. Uh, let me know if you was there in the comment section or if you have any questions on any games that was there. I played pretty much all the big ones, man. But anyway, I'll get it you guys next time. I do appreciate the, the support. Let me get that out. La, 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 la. <laughs> and I'll let you guys next time, man. I'm out. We game here in the building.